Hey guys, what's going on? Just thought I'd um, do a video to show you some of the changes I've made to my system and uh, just tell you what I've been up to lately. So, uh, as you can see, I've got the Batrium BMS system now uh, running at the moment with 16 100 amp hour Kelb Life Before cells. Um, I've nearly got it set up uh, just in, just in a basic system at this stage um, thanks to some really helpful videos especially Daniel's video DIY tech and repairs on uh, I think it's called basic installation of Batrium software I'll put a link below um, in the description also the Batrium website has been really helpful as well and um, yeah, the, just um, also on the DIY Power Walls forum, um, getting some help on there as well. So thanks for that, guys. Uh, I'll just show you what I've been, what I've got going on. So got the 1600 amp hour cells here with the Blockmon uh, mon cell monitors here. Um, so yeah i've got it i made a few changes um as per um jaron from batrium's recommendations having my negative feed here and positive at the other end of the pack um yeah so I've, this the wires once i set up my um long-term system the wires will be a lot neater there's a lot of um there is info on on the Batrium website on how to do that, but I've just got it. I've just got it running for the moment. It all seems to be to be working really well. There's the Watchmon an expansion board. I've got that mounted in the the little holder it comes with. I will put that up on the wall here. Um, yeah, so I've done that. I've put in a um, HRC fuse. Um, just to for any fault current um, scenarios that hopefully don't ever occur um, so that's that I've got the PCM 60x mounted up here which I'm running now uh, this will probably go down onto this wall here um, when I set up the 48 volt system and then I'll just have a smaller 12 volt system running here the Batrium system will go onto the 48 volt system which will be 16 100 amp hour and these 16 60 amp hour cells in parallel so I can use the um, 16 Blockmon monitors that I have there another exciting update I have was I bought this EPIVA AP, 48 volt inverter but unfortunately I think it copped a bit of rough treatment on the way over from Hong Kong and it looks like it's taken a pretty serious knock here and when I shake it around there are a couple of loose bits inside rattling around so I'm not really sure what that's about yet I'm talking to the seller um, I'll probably take the case off and have a look what's going on inside but yeah hopefully I might be able to get this running with the Batrium software that would be really good and I'll have it all mounted up here on this wall and the cells will be under here I'll probably enclose this area here um, make that like a little battery battery cabinet here for the cells yeah so just really excited about the Batrium software and heaps to learn it's a very um, lot of feet lot of features to learn functions a lot of which I probably won't use but good to have them anyway um, yeah so thanks for watching guys any comments or um, put them in below any questions and don't forget to subscribe and like if you like the video all right i'll see you on the next one bye now